Hey everyone, it's me Megs and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you all my wash day routine when I blow dry and flat iron my hair. Since having this new haircut y'all, I've been loving this bob, okay? Like I just cannot get enough of my hair right now. So I'm going to show you guys my wash day routine when I do my heat pass for the month. So a few days before I did have my hair in a twist out and when I have my hair in a low manipulation style like this, I do not comb my hair. So the most manipulation my hair does get is on wash day when I go to detangle my hair to make sure that there aren't any tangles and to also get rid of any shedded hair because you want to do this because if you get in the shower going to wash your hair, you might have a matted mess. So I comb my hair going all back in one direction to prepare my hair for my shampoo. So of course you get in the shower, you make sure your hair is nice and saturated to use shampoo, which is my favorite, which is the Creamy Aloe Shampoo by ORS. And I love using this on my blowout days because it gets all the extremities out of my hair, but also maintaining the moisture in my hair and my hair feels so soft and moisturized after using this. So I really love that this shampoo does not strip my hair, but it definitely does get rid of any extra product buildup that I may have on my scalp and on my hair. And I do take it a bit on my strands, especially on those days when I am going to be using heat because I don't want any buildup on my hair when I go to flat iron it because I do not have thick thick hair so anything that weighs my hair down I don't want it so this is really important when shampooing making sure that you rinse and get everything off and out of your hair especially that shampoo okay and make sure that I rinse my hair thoroughly through my strands also So now to condition, I'm using the ORS Replenishing Conditioner, and you guys, I love this conditioner. I've been loving ORS products since, girl, since 2008, <laughs> but this conditioner is my best friend, okay? I love this conditioner. It gives my hair so much slip. It gives it so much body and so much moisture, and it's so manageable, too, when I rinse it out. So what I'm going to do is apply this from root to end, starting out like this, and then I'm going to go through each section of my hair and apply more on the inside so I definitely want to make sure I apply this to my ends because girl we're trying to like <laughs> keep our ends right and tight okay so I part through my hair getting the roots also because I do want to make sure I maintain all of the strands of my hair from root to end and as I'm applying this conditioner, my hair instantly starts to receive the conditioner. You know, I think I'm going to do a separate video about this. Like you can tell when a conditioner really likes your hair. So I'm also going to apply this to my edges because that's the most fragile as well. So the three most important parts that I feel when it comes to conditioning is applying it to your nape, which I'm doing now, your edges and your ends. And I am going to cover my hair with a plastic cap for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna sit underneath a dryer, okay? Just to really get that deep condition on. And it makes my hair so soft. It gives my hair so much slip too. So when I get in the shower to rinse it out, of course I rinse it out, but I do a cool water rinse to my hair just to help maintain frizz and also it just helps with manageability with my hair. So my hair is a little damp, so I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair to prepare myself to blow dry my hair. And like I said, y'all, I only do a heat pass on my hair once a month if I choose to use the heat pass. Other than that, I'm not using heat on my hair at all. So I'm gonna section off this first little section. It's best for me to work in sections because it's easier. And I'm gonna use the Olaplex number six. I really love using this as a leave-in for me. It's really smoothing. It helps maintain frizz as well. And I just absolutely love this stuff. So I'm making sure that I apply this to my ends and my roots. And it's really nice and lightweight because I have fine hair. So I have to be really careful with how much product I'm using. And now I'm gonna use this Sebastian Heat Protecting Spray. And I'm just going to spray just a little bit on this section. And y'all, I use two heat protectants. Okay, so I use this spray first, detangle, 
using my rake comb and then I'm going to use the Red by Kiss blow dryer and this is the handleless 1875 watt dryer. I've been using this um, blow dryer for over 10 years and I absolutely love it. So I always start out on cold setting to blow out my hair you guys okay. So I start out with cool because I don't want to use anything hot or warm just yet just because I don't want all that excessive heat. And now I'm going to go in with the ORS 2-in-1 Heat Defense Shine Mist. And you guys, a little bit of this goes a long way, which is why I don't spray it directly onto my hair. I spray it on my hand first, and then I'm going to go in with the low setting on my blow dryer. Because with the product, it's just so much easier for me to control how much I want to put on my hair with applying it to my hand first and then going in with the low setting on the blow dryer, which is a little bit more heat. It's warm, of course. It's not hot because I definitely don't want anything hot um, going on to my hair because that can cause breakage and dryness. So I tend to only switch the setting to low when my hair is pretty much dry. I just kind of use that to just, you know, put in a little bit of an extra straightening and I technically normally leave my hair blow dried like this. I normally don't flat iron it but for today we're gonna flat iron it. But my hair gets pretty straight with using these products and of course this blow dryer that I love so much y'all. So as you can see I can leave my hair like this <laughs> and you know what I normally do. And it has so much body, so much shine. It feels so, so good. It's so soft. But today we're going to go ahead and flat iron it. And I'm really happy with how my hair has been flat ironing lately because um, I am on a relaxed hair journey. And I'm slowly starting to see my hair starting to wake up to what I've been doing within my regimen, especially since getting my hair cut. I can definitely see more of the results paying off as far as my routine goes. So I am going to flat iron my hair. I'm using this Paul Mitchell um, flat iron and I am going to put this on 340 degrees and I am going to section my hair off into sections when flat ironing because I like to use one to two passes when flat ironing. I don't like to do multiple passes. So just do one pass and done. So I always start out at the back first and work my way up. And my hair has so much body and it was so easy to flat iron. So each section, I'm just gonna do one pass and just add a little bump at the end <laughs> you know just a little bump <laughs> and you guys I'm so happy that my hair turned out how it turned out because I am not a professional I don't know how to get my hair to have all this fluff and shine but using these products and this blow dryer it makes me feel really confident that I can get these type of results at home by myself because you know I'm not a professional but I take pretty good care of my hair and that's what matters <laughs> so I am loving how shiny my hair feels it has a lot of bounce which I love and it's definitely nice and lightweight like I said one to two passes on my hair and that's about it okay and and that's all I need because I section off my hair in small sections. Yeah, you guys, this is pretty much the finished um, look. And I am loving how my hair is feeling. It's nice and smooth, nice and lightweight. And the shine is absolutely gorgeous with using these products. And so if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me. Everything I use is down in the description. But to finish everything off, I am going to use the ORS Olive Oil Nourishing Sheen Spray to give my hair even more luster. I love this sheen spray, you guys. I've been loving this since forever and it always gives me the nice shine that I love and it's nice and lightweight. So if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me and as always, I'll see you guys next time. 
And don't forget to stick around my channel to check out more of my healthy hair care videos.